Let's head to Trent Bridge, our reporter Jeremy Langdon. Jeremy. Yes, hello from Trent Bridge. The sun is shining, the women's ashes is about to start and boy, the start of the men's ashes was pretty good. I've got Mel Jones here. Mel, have you recovered and what can we expect here? More fireworks? I think I've got about two more days of recovery. The heart rate is still up. It was a, a magnificent whole test, but that last day was something pretty special. And it actually reminds me of the last time these two teams, the women's uh, Australian team and, and England side, played in Ashes because that last hour at Marnica in Canberra was something just as special. So they, they're used to that kind of high intensity and I'm pretty sure we might be able to see some again. It's five days. How significant is that, do you think? It's huge. Um, and mostly because weather's played a massive role in the last few test matches, um, whether it's these guys playing or, or India and, and South Africa. So the fifth day, number one, makes sure that I think we'll definitely get a result. Uh, two, it's, it's test match cricket, isn't it? So you want those five days and that's where you really start to, to test the bowlers' capabilities. You start to get to test the batters' uh, mental um, approach to the game as well and the captains as well, which I think will be critical. You played 61 times for Australia, but only five test matches. Was that a regret for you, and how sto stoked will these players be? Oh, I don't know if it, you can say it's a regret. We might have to chat to the selectors and, and my poor form more so than anything else. Look, it was back in, the, in a time where test match cricket was, was almost dying out, um, and that's why this multi-format series is so important for the women's game. It, it's actually reinvigorated test match cricket back into you know, the, the conversations of the women's, women's game, which is brilliant. Would I have loved to have played more tests? Yeah, you better believe it. It's, it's one of the most um, beautiful forms formats of the game, uh, like, as I mentioned before, it really tests you and there's something special about walking out on a ground uh, wearing, wearing the baggy green. What do you like about the multi-format? Uh, it's well, it's it's squad squad cricket, isn't it? So it's it's one where oh. you, you can really test the depth of, of the teams, and it keeps the teams in it right to the very end. So you know you you win a test, but then all of a sudden the opposition win a couple of the T20s or a one dayer, and it's even all the way throughout. So um, I think it's great for fans to, to be able to watch it and be connected to any of the formats that they like. But then collectively you have that winner at the end. The two Ashes series running in tandem, um, how good is that? Yeah, the dashes, the double Ashes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's brilliant, isn't it? Um, I th I, look, for, for women's sport and women's cricket, I think it's been on this you know, massive, massive rise for, for men's test match cricket, I think, because of the way in which um, England have been playing and the way in which um, Australia's won the recent World Test Championship. That's collectively on the rise as well. So I, can, I reckon in 20 years' time we'll be looking back at, at this summer here in England and saying there was a real shift and a real positive one. Australia come here as the T20 world champions, the 50 over world champions, the Commonwealth champions, they're the Ashes holders. So what chance do you give England? <laughs> no, they do have a chance. And I think there's, there's something about the England side that's just been building over the last couple of years. Um, a little shift in approach from a few players. You've got Sophia Dunkley now at the top of the order, but in the middle order for, for the test matches. You've got some young quicks coming through in Bell and Wong and Fyla. Um, and then you've got what arguably what the best player in the world, and that's Siva Brunt as well. So it's, it's a really well-balanced side, and there's some eagerness. There's already been a little bit of pre-series banter from some of the younger players from England, which the, the Australians would absolutely love. So I think there's, there's lots of elements there that say that um, England and well are truly in this. Are you expecting the England women to play with the kind of swagger and the ambition that the men show? <laughs> um, I think some of them definitely will. I, I think that's, don't think it sort of fits a few of the personalities. So you don't do you stay in your lane sometimes, don't you? Um, I certainly would walk out with that, that kind of swagger, and I don't think a couple of the England players or Australian players will. But there's a quiet confidence, I think, in those that don't quite have the, uh, the swagger to match Ben Stokes. Just finally, um, nearly 15,000 tickets sold for this test match, over 80,000 for the series. I mean, this is incredible stuff, isn't it? It's, it's next level, isn't it? And, and what the beautiful part of it is, is when you get to these games and you look up in the crowd, it is a mix of people. And, and that's what I love about the women's game. There's, there's young and old, there's boys and girls, there's men and women, there's people from every single sort of walk of life. Um, and they come along and they thoroughly enjoy the atmosphere and they thoroughly enjoy what, seeing what some of the best um, athletes do their business as well. So it's, yeah, it's a great time. Well, Jones, thanks so much for your time. Well, Edgbaston was good, and we're hoping Trent Bridge can be just as good, and it starts tomorrow. So, yes, as Jeremy mentioned, it all gets underway tomorrow. First, the tests, then three 20s, then three ODIs. We begin our coverage, though, with a special preview show. Join us live from Trent Bridge from 7 a.m., and then it is time for the action itself. Sky Sports Cricket, all main event from 10 a.m. tomorrow. Can England regain that trophy for the first time in nine years?